individuals, indicative really of the whole hospitality uh, sector, and I mean from the chefs to the restaurants, all the way uh, to the, uh, the chain of the people who are producing the amazing ingredients in which we rely on so much. Everybody's been hit so hard, so everybody's doing a great job. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'm going to introduce our next guest, and um, I, I, I really enjoy his positivity. This guy uh, is um, a, an amazing chef. He's a restaurateur. He is an author of several books, and uh, he's just passionate about, passionate about what he does. And he's also uh, a TV presenter and uh, presented one of the funniest programs I think I've seen uh, with Matt Dawson uh, on TV some time ago, where the outtakes were just funnier than the actual content. Uh, but he's a brilliant guy. I'm going to bring him into line uh, now and invite him in. Uh, as ever, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the, the visual of all of you guys saying hi, hello, and we love that support and interactivity. Um, we, we just want to make sure that you can see Mitch and his son, Ben, uh, on screen. Uh, you can ask questions as ever, and I'll try and uh, tap into your questions and forward them to Mitch. So I'm just going to go in and see if Mitch is there. Uh, I can see him in my line. You know, I, I'm no expert at this, but using technology in such a brilliant way, it's showcasing all the amazing things we can do. Uh, Mitch, hey, Mitch, how hey, are you? Hey, how you doing, Steve, right? Yeah, really well. Thanks for inviting us into your family lunch. Great. Well, we're having uh, you know that turbo that we had on the quayside this morning. Uh, ben and I were over there selling uh, fish, so we are having a grilled turbot and uh, we're having a salsa verde. And we've been quite lucky, really. We're kind of a restaurant family, so we've got uh, obviously two chefs in the house. Uh, Ben's girlfriend Bronte, who's a manageress at Freddie Bird's brilliant little French in Bristol, and uh, we've got uh, Tommy and Izzy. Uh, daughter Izzy and her boyfriend Tommy who do the wines and work at the Seahorse and my daughter Sadie who keeps all sane with a bit of yoga and breathing and meditation because you might imagine it's all uh, all crazy but what are we all going to need is we're going to get Bronte on the camera here and yep. uh, I'm on the grill section today and Ben is uh, doing all the other stuff and preparing it so any questions on fish or anything else just uh, fire them through Thank and you, uh, Bronte will feed them through to us and I'm going to hand the camera over to Bronte and, okay. uh, and let's, uh, let's go for there. Ben you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Right, that's it, Bronx. You're uh, filming. So you got the camera, which is pretty good. So I'm on the grill section. That turbot that we got this morning, right? We got that amazing turbot, and uh, it's, um, I've already put it on the grill. Yeah. And uh, so we got it uh, in a little cage, and uh, I'm just basting it with um, a mixture of uh, lots of salt and uh, vinegar and uh, olive oil. That's already been on the grill for about. 10 minutes so you can see that lovely that fish is getting that really nice wow that's there. that's brilliant um and mitch so mitch i think i yeah. recognize i think i recognize the maker of that lovely basket do you know who it is no that basket is uh, i don't know I, I actually bought it back from spain when i was in uh, northern uh, spain looking at anchovies uh, I yeah have, um you know went to a kind of wonderful restaurants over there and uh, in Qatar, where you see this kind of stuff happening on the streets. And so I just bought a load from kind of like a little little shop there, you know, sort of a kitchen shop. Um, yeah, it's, really it's, great. It's, it's, I think this way of cooking, cooking fish is, uh, is just, is completely nuts. I mean, it's like um, <laughs> when you think that was out of the water, uh, you know, like, I don't know, yesterday afternoon, and now it's on the grill, it's really good. But we've, um, I'm, I'm using uh, some other ingredients that uh, were today from a, uh, we're, we're talking about uh, linking up people with producers. Yes. And uh, I use these guys in Bristol called uh, Mavalco. And yeah. uh, they run the most incredible Spanish supply business, really do. And uh, one of the things they do is uh, they sell tin fish, right? And David, yeah. the, uh, the owner, he took me up to um, a restaurant called Guayamar. You can see them on uh, Instagram. Yeah. And they have the most incredible grills. I, I mean, I had probably one of the best seafood meals I've ever eaten in my life there. And uh, what the guy does is he um, uh, puts seafood like mussels and cockles and that sort of thing on his charcoal grills and opens them and cans them, right? And these are the canned products that you can get from Mavalco. Um, and they've all got like wacky stuff, but I promise you, like the cockles 
are the best things you've ever tasted in your life. And in one of these tins, there's like a whole kilo of cockles. They're not cheap, but they're amazing. And well, I think, like, you can always keep this in the house, like this tuna, uh, tuna belly. And, uh, you know, you buy tuna from a, a supplier of, from a nation that just embraces tuna, and you get some really, uh, truly amazing. So, Mavalco, uh, delivering to your home, it's pretty extraordinary. So, my job's really easy, but look at the juice, look at the juice dripping out of that fish. That's, that's quite amazing. Oh, that, Mitch, that, that, it, is that's like, the... it is the best thing ever. So, I've just basted that again with more uh, olive oil and salt and everything else. That's not your normal domestic setup for a cooker, is it? Over to Ben. He's he's sort of making supper really, and I'm under his direction on the grill. Hello, Ben. So I'm a um, chopped salsa verde with the turbot, which is a seahorse take on a normal salsa verde, which is Amazing. a complete sauce from Italy, Spain sort of region. It goes wonderful with grilled fish, and the seahorse we serve it with monkfish traditionally. Obviously, we're lucky enough to be blessed with turbot. And we also have some beautiful cannellini beans from the Valco, um, which we have soaked overnight. And then we have just braised with garlic, sage, and thyme. And we're going to put some fennel tops in there. And for the yoga teacher of the house, considering she doesn't eat fish, <laughs> with the beans, we're going to make some pasta with fagioli, uh, just to keep her sane in this time. So That's brilliant. Uh, ben, <laughs> sorry. Covered, man. Yeah. For ben, the sorry to hang, on, you. hang on, question. Yeah. Sorry, th thanks, Ben. Um, that's not a normal domestic setup for your uh, cooker, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's one of those things that are like I don't know. A few years ago, I just thought um, I wanted to treat myself. So this was actually a little courtyard at the back of the house. We don't have very much space here, and uh, so I treated myself to like a, a grill, and uh, you know, um, that's it really. That's my pride and joy. Um, <laughs> I love it. It's great, you know, in the winter times you drag around it when you're roasting your Sunday beef, it's cool. It's, a, it's, it's amazing. And I love your little uh, family network there. And, uh, of course, they, there would be a legacy of foodies in your family, Mitch. But uh, your, your daughter, who's been uh, the yoga teacher, she's been, she's been using this similar platform, hasn't she, for teaching yoga uh, to everybody who's on, on lockdown. Yeah, she has. I mean, she's uh, she's kind of a bit of a wanderer, I'll say. You know, she's been around the world doing stuff, and uh, and she's come back and she's doing online yoga courses. And uh, what's been brilliant, she's been sort of having some private classes with private clients, but doing uh, free yoga for anyone in hospitality that's in lockdown. So uh, yeah. I'm sure that we'll get her um, details onto the website if anybody wants to sign up. It's pretty good. Even like an old fat bloke like me can do bits of it, and I find it. <laughs> Uh, really, really beneficial, <laughs> which is uh, which is real good. But, um... No at all. So Ben, good knife skills. What's happening now? Uh, so we're just making the uh, chopped salsa verde. Uh, I'm just finally um, chopping some sugar snaps on the bias, uh, along with some spring onions, and we have some diced uh, green pepper, cucumber, and um, some green olives. We're just going to throw through there, and we're going to put some fresh herbs, uh, some oregano, some mint, some basil, and some coriander. Uh, also some capers and some anchovies, which we get through with Mavalco, and dress it with some olive oil and some agrodolci. Um, so we get that traditional herby and vinegary taste in the salsa verde. We've got more of a crunch, so it's more of a texture, like a little garnish on the plate. Delicious. Um, and um, yeah. Sorry, can I ask about the turbot? Yes. So, um, obviously, when you want to deal with fish and the way that you got the fish, you can't get any fresher than that. But do you, do you find that sometimes um, those people in the know, chefs like yourself and your dad, uh, do you know about um, the, the... Do you need to rest the turbot? Yeah, you know, I mean, these big flat fish like turbot, Dover soles, um, you really need them to go through rigor mortis, right? I mean, they, you know, if you get them, they're kind of floppy for the first sort of like half a day and they go really stiff. And you just want to kind of wait until uh, the muscles relax slightly and, and, and you're just the other side of it. Um, otherwise, it's just very, very tough. But, yeah. you know, a lot of chefs say you can leave them for days and days and days. For me, the joy of a fish is tasting the sea in it. And, yeah. uh, and that's, that's where you, you, you've got to make sure that, you know, there's no dehydration happen and you're tasting that, that real kind of freshness, which is amazing. And what's glorious about cooking them over a fire like this is that, you know, normally we wouldn't eat the green skin on a turbot, you know, but we eat the white skin. But the green skin is almost like it's basting it over the fire, so the actual fish flesh is steaming inside it. And so you're getting this kind of lovely algae, amazing uh, kind of taste, which is, uh, which is super... I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. It's on true. Well, it's doing, you know, the great thing is, well, I'm doing nothing. Like, the fire's doing the work, and yeah. Ben's doing the work. I'm just like... Well, chef director. 
So, yeah, it's all right. So, um, we're all having a little, uh, you know, Tom's house has a little shop before lunch, and uh, and, we're, and we're drinking, Tommy's doing the wine. So what are we drinking for lunch, Tommy? So, we're drinking one of Trevor Gulliver's specials uh, from a St. John place up in London. Yeah. Um, the winery we're particularly happy with Trevor. They do fantastic blends with real elegance, and this is actually majority of the roll, which is the same as Valentino. And it's a wine we've never tried before, but it's got a little bit of Marsan and Rousseau, and I think it's going to give it a lot of richness. But there's some really nice apple and pear on the nose, and I think we're going to be quite interested to see how it tastes. And it's going to be fantastic with the serve, I assume. And we've never actually drank the wine before, but I'm taking a leap on it. Well, do you know what, Tommy, that's really important. Do you know, taking a leap and supporting people, sometimes, you know, it leads to happy accidents, and let's hope that that's one of those happy accidents. Well, yeah, I mean, the call's going to come out, so the accident's going to be happy, that's for sure. Great, <laughs> brilliant. And, uh, Mitch, you're no stranger to... Um, you're a real bon viveur, and uh, you, you make some collaborations. And... Uh, Can you hear me okay? Yeah, sorry, Steve, I missed that. I think we had a little bit that's of a drop-out in the Wi-Fi. That's okay, mate, don't worry. I'm just saying that um, you're a real champion of uh, uh, all, all suppliers, but you also have your own wine with uh, Hixie. Yes, and uh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's been a great project. And uh, that came from... Um, and this, this is why I love the spontaneity of our industry. And uh, Hixie and I were standing in the yard together in uh, Portugal about 10 years ago. And um, we were with uh, Sophia from Quinta de la Rosa, a wonderful lady, and we, we were tasting these wines, sitting in this glorious sunshine, and said, why don't we like, make a wine to go with seafood? And uh, so uh, we made a blend, and uh, Hixie got on the phone to uh, Tracy Evan and got her to paint a label like we do. And, yeah. uh, and then we sat around over a roasted goat and some grilled octopus in the evening, and uh, we wondered what we could call this wine. So the first thing that came to our, you know, Tonks and Hicks, so we called it Tonics. And, uh, and it's still 10 years, I think 10 year vintage is now. It's, it's great, wonderful wine, red and white, it's lovely. And really? Well, let, let's have this live tasting, Tommy. Oh, well, let's have a live tasting. Live tasting. You, you know, Steve, I was watching ja uh, watching uh, Charlie this morning, and yeah. uh, Charlie was saying how he was working with, uh, you know, new wine merchants he hadn't worked with before. And, uh, you know, we, you know, I love Trevor Gulliver's, like, you know, he's got an eclectic kind of... Um, palette and he, he really does get some amazing wine so we've been having wine sent from all sorts of places that we wouldn't normally do and it's uh it's great so what do you think Tommy? i love it this is long ago so i mean roll is the same group as Argentina. normally you get a lot of apple and pear drop on the nose and this is massively massively coming through with the pear drops it's fantastic and one thing that stands out particularly is the color i don't know how well you can see it you don't have any white sheets on paper it's really I've super pale it's really super pale and, and roll is a is a particularly aromatic grape variety and what I love nice. about the wines that Trevor has is, I mean, he says about the eclectic wines it has. And they send out some really interesting blends. And Marsan and Roussa are two of my favourite grapes, and particularly underestimated grapes. And the Languedoc is, is one of the particularly most, in my opinion, underestimated uh, parts of France. And if you love a taste, I think it's going to add a lot of richness to it. It's got a little bit of Viognier here. It's got a little bit of Viognier in as well, actually, which is going to add a little bit of elegance. I love Viognier. Um, uh, hello, Mitch. Uh, well, you're okay. Mitch Tonks as long as you like. Uh, Mitch, oh, yeah. what's, well, that's what's... All right. we got to, Where's my wine? I, I, I sort of put it down somewhere. Oh, you did. That's fantastic. I got it. I got it. He's always doing that. That's He's it. always doing that at parties. Yeah, we like this. Right. What's, what's very, really very nice wine? Yeah. What's nice really quite balance. daunting? Lovely noses, is he? Just very come down and run. Look, we're all fit. And uh, it's lovely and fresh. Yeah, but it's got some rich. It's delicious, isn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We love his wines. What's going on? Are we, are we doing I'm really? Yeah, I'm quite jealous. Verde, some Agadolci and olive oil. Yeah. Making sure the beans and the pasta are fudgy early already. And I think we're ready to lunch. Uh, Tasting good? Yeah, more vinegar. Slight more sharpness to it. This vinegar we use at the uh, at the Seahorse um, is uh, something I found. I, I was with a carver producer, uh, I don't know, ten or twelve years ago in uh, in the Boccaria in Barcelona, maybe maybe it was more, fifteen years ago, and uh, ended up going back to his house. And again, we blended wine together, which we still do uh, for Rockfish every year. At Torello, we take all our staff over there, you know, key performers, and 
they get to blend the wine, which is really good, get their faces on the wine. But anyway, this guy, Joseph, who's a maniac, um, <coughs> uh, makes this amazing vinegar. And uh, he uses the, the disgorgement from um, the carver and, uh, and then turns it into vinegar. So it's incredibly sweet, but with no sugars. And uh, so we use that with, uh, with vegetables like this at Seawall, which, uh, which is great. I'll tell you, I'm missing well, Seawall, so I'm missing being in the kitchen. Jakey. I'm missing yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Is that good? Oh, I'm with you, too. I can't believe it. Because normally salsa verde is, you know, like lots of herbs and everything yes. else. You've got like, all that lovely flavour. But you've got the crunch of sugar snacks, salty olives, salty caper, a few anchovies, olive oil, green pepper. I mean, it's kind of like a, not like a sauce, but it's a real kind of lovely accompaniment with a fish. I'm Amazing bring the texture. Fish yeah, yeah, really good. I'm going to bring the fish through here now, I think. Um, and we're done on it. So, um... So... Oh, look at that guy, right? Yep, wow, amazing. Sorry, there was a little lag there, but it's amazing. We had a lag, huh? Um, it's um, it again. pretty good. So we're Super, just going to see that skin is there, right? Yep. And uh, I'll just put this over here so I can get the... Um, get that little spatula or something. Like that. Good. And, um, it looks very good. It looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm starving. And uh, I think uh, we sh hopefully we should be able to just lift this off nice, nice and easy. Yeah. Oh, it's just a little bit there. And uh, get me cloth out of the way. And uh, just a little bit of uh, olive oil on there. And um, I've got uh, that basting juice I'm going to get. So uh, it's vinegar for me, vinegar salt. Yeah. And uh, at the top, I mean, I just love that little bit of piquancy with uh, with fish. Yeah. And uh, and that's it. The joy of it is just that. I mean, it's not. There's nothing else to go on it. I mean, you know, just just great, right? We're going to pop it in the table. Ben's going to serve it up, and then uh, I've got to take a photograph, of Steve. Nice. Yeah, take a take a photograph. Um, Mitch, while you're taking the photograph, I'm going to yeah, go to some questions, if that's okay. Mitch, it's question time. Ready? Question time, yeah. yeah. Take okay, time. one sec. What's the question? He's gonna uh, what's your favourite fish to cook with? And that's from uh, the team here at the Virtual Food Festival. Um, actually, I think John Dory and uh, Red Mullet. Red Mullet would be my absolute uh, favourite fish. And uh, also, I like these guys here, these anchovies, right? Again, um, Mavalco, you lovely people. Uh, I went up to the anchovy factory. I go to anchovy factories and weird things like that in my spare time and drag all my kids along. We've all been to fish markets and factories around the world. And um, seeing these anchovies kind of like, you know, these old ladies kind of, you know, filleting them by hand, salting them, filleting them by hand. You realize Brilliant. just what an amazing um, uh, thing it is. We've got these white beans, bench beans. He's, uh, this is something these guys do at the Seahawks. Inspired by uh, Henry Harris. He cooked beans yeah. for us once and we were all got snacks by them, and, and uh, yeah, we just put them on the menu ever since. I've got something from, um, in, sorry guys, I've got something from uh, India Monsoon, and uh, she's, uh, they say, uh, I work in the NHS, and I am a yoga teacher, this is music to my ears, well done guys. Yeah. Oh, well, Fantastic, yeah. yeah. We need to get, uh, you know, um, we need to get, um, uh, say he's doing stuff for the uh, NHS guys too, and uh, we love freebies. And also, we this morning, as you know, Steve, we the boat thing this morning, right? We landed the boat in Brixham, and uh, the skipper <coughs> tripled yeah. the value of the catch by selling it to people, which was awesome, right? And it's a win-win situation that could never yeah. have happened before this whole kind of virus pause thing, right? Yeah. And uh, so it's a really cool thing. He gets to treble his catch. People get to get the most amazing seafood, which is really good. We're going to do it again. And uh, we're going to be like, all, any, anyone with an AHS card come along, they can get free fish and everybody else come along and buy it. And this is the way of the world, right? We're doing all this nice stuff now. I like it. So yeah, should we break this to them? And, and, yeah. and, uh, and, and, gonna... and Mitch, just remind me of the skipper's name and the boat. Uh, his name is Nick Rich, and uh, yeah. the boat is called Rock Fisher. And um, it's a little collaboration that we uh, that we worked on together. So... She's a little day boat out fishing, literally in the day, and that's it. And, and uh, look at uh, that skin, keep skin. Oh, man. 
and your and your uh, your your supplier that you said there from Bristol, uh, Mavalco. Yeah, Mavalco. They are just phenomenal. Yeah, and, uh, you know, really top-notch Spanish uh, supplier. And um, yeah, and we'll get their details up on our uh, virtual yeah, festival dot org website. Look at that! Wow, that is superb. Can I can I just say, uh, Mitch? that um, your uh, positivity and the way that you have always approached uh, food and life in general is um, it's, it's kind of intoxicating. And I can see that what you've done is... Uh, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, I think Ben has done uh, an amazing dish there. Uh, I think you, you, you were a bit of a passenger, to be fair, but uh, that's okay. You're allowed a bit of time off. Uh, what's slightly disconcerting is Tommy's knowledge about the wine is immense, and he barely looks as if he's at drinking age. <laughs> no, he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a um, five pound for every time. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Sorry, Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. Uh, no, Mitch, have you taken a... Sorry, sorry, no, I couldn't resist. Uh, Mitch, no, have you taken a pic? Have you yeah, taken yeah, a picture? Taken, I think there's a picture of that. Um, we got people on it. And, um, <laughs> but no, Tommy was, uh, um, Tommy was uh, working at the NHS. And, um, <laughs> and, he, and he, he came home, he introduced himself as being his new boyfriend and uh, a very charming man. And I said, Tommy, have you ever, ever thought about working in restaurants? He said, oh, I'd love to work in the kitchen. I said, no, no, Tommy, I don't think you're a chef. I think you're, you're front of house. <laughs> so uh, I started working with Chubb and Jake and all the guys that have been horse. And now he's on one guy. And, um, he's brilliant. Um, he's sitting I, think... I think we're blessed to have a family restaurant. And um, yeah, you, that's uh, yeah, you, you... something that is... Um, Pretty cool. You do it right. And uh, Tommy, Ben, yourself and all the family, you're all keepers. So uh, well done. Steve, and uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Uh, enjoy Stop lockdown. Well. And uh, lots of love to everyone. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you for supporting us. Thanks for being here. Mitch, uh, I hope to see you again soon. Uh, I hope to see you. As soon as this is over, we'll be having a beer together. Brilliant. Now, hopefully, Cheers. that might be be that Bye. might be in line Cheers. Regis. Cheers. Bye. 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 Cheers, mate. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for having us. Bye. Okay. So, uh, goodbye to Mitch and his family. What an incredible uh, joint effort that was. Really fantastic. Uh, that food. Oh my life. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks for uh, being with us. Um, we've got. Uh, uh, an opportunity, I think, to switch some comments back on. Uh, I know you're out there. I know you're supporting us. I know you're following us. Uh, you've been doing some brilliant uh, donations over on the virtualfoodfestival.org website. Um, uh, uh, all the suppliers that we're mentioning, plus others. And, and don't forget, we want you to mention any of your favourite suppliers too. This is a collaboration. It's not about us saying these are the top three or the top four. It's about tell us who you really like. Okay, so uh, the turbot did look divine, Claire Smith, one, two, three. You're absolutely right. Uh, I wish that there was that whole kind of opportunity uh, to, to, to taste it. One of the things is that I feel very connected to everybody, um, but, you know, that final piece of the jigsaw get around a table and enjoy some amazing food, whether it's at uh, a restaurant or whether it's at home. That's the only piece that's missing for us. Uh, Liz Baker, thank you. Yes, it was amazing to see the Tongs family, wasn't it? Uh, and doing what they do best, entertaining, cooking, being real, celebrating fantastic, lovely seasonal ingredients straight from the sea, uh, right close to where they are. Hi again to uh, Steve. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, Mavalco are great. Are and, they, and uh, uh, Steve Asher is there just confirming what we already know, but spreading the word. Um, the fish shop in Camberley, uh, they've gone above and beyond to get fish to the people of Surrey. Uh, this is from C.D. Lloyd in Hampshire, straight from the fishermen at Newlyn. Uh, we've seen the same here where I live at Lyme Regis. Uh, we've seen 
pockets of people uh, waiting for depots coming in. But of course, it's not just about the sea. It's not just about the harvest of fish and shellfish that we can get from the sea. It's about the farmers. It's about the producers. It's about the butchers and the growers. It's about everybody. Okay, so um, uh, I'm being asked by Sophie, could you get details of the wine onto the website, please? Yes, I'm sure we can. And uh, I've got a little update for you. Okay, so um, it's about support. It's about uh, uh, showcasing the suppliers, but it's also trying to raise uh, a, a little bit. Uh, and do you know what? With your support and uh, today, we've raised nearly six.